Well, it's been just over a year since the city of Denver started tracking the number of migrant arrivals. Tonight, that number stands at nearly 38,000. Many of those people coming here have little to nothing other than the clothes on their backs. And while Coloradans have been extremely generous with donating supplies, many of those donation centers are now completely full. Our Ron Parrish shows us how they're working to process all of the donations and explains what you can still do to help. This video from the Colorado Changemakers Collective puts into perspective just how much need there is among the arriving migrants in Denver. Little by little, we're taking care. And this puts into perspective just how much the people of Colorado have wanted to help. This is donations for people that uh, they're dropping in and through our organization uh, all the way from November to, uh, to this point. Yeah. And so you guys are basically just like at capacity at this point. Yes, yes, we're at capacity at this point because we need to go through all these donations. The CCC says they've distributed six tons of clothing, but since they're small and entirely volunteer based, they haven't been able to process donations as quickly as they've come in. We're so glad that people have this, you know, big hearts and, and, and try to, uh, you know, bring all the donations, but we need help. We are only uh, four people and staff, and uh, with tons of donations, it's hard for us to, to keep going. Now, when donors arrive to the lobby below CCC, they're met with this sign saying their donations cannot be accepted at this time. You know, they just drop whatever they have, and, and we're glad, but at this moment, it's like we need to go through all this. CCC is not the only partnering organization that's telling folks right now they don't have any more room for clothing donations. But that doesn't mean the need is getting any smaller. Denver's still seeing hundreds of migrants arrive every day. So CCC will take monetary donations to try to buy a bigger storage space for clothes. And in the meantime, there are other organizations that still have room for the clothes if you have them to give. I mean, this is what Denver is. The Park Church in the Highlands is home to a group that is still taking donations. A growing army of moms and neighbors are mobilizing to get help to arriving migrants. It's just volunteers, just donations. And so that's kind of cool. Elizabeth Nietzsche is one of the organizers. She says they are still able to take donations and get them to the migrants in need. But she also says receiving items that are not helpful bogs the process down. So they're asking for some very specific things. Please bring us winter jackets, winter pants, um, winter boots, gloves. We never have enough gloves to get through a day. Deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes, underwear. In just over two weeks, we're expecting many migrants currently in shelters to be back on the streets. So it feels kind of hopeless. Like, uh, so I've really tried to decide to focus on this. I can control this. And with even more arriving, Nietzsche says it puts the work she and her neighbors are doing into perspective. I can make sure that we have clothes. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. The Park Hill Church drop-off site is open Tuesday through Thursday from 10 a.m. until 2. If you want to make a financial donation to a group helping migrants, just visit our website for more information.